the truth. The truth is your armor. There's something else going on here. That's a subpoena. I'm taking what is mine. Don't do this. Do you, Olivia Carolyn Pope, solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Oh, I don't kinda do just it. got goosebumps a little bit. Okay, after seven seasons, we're just one week now away from the series finale of ABC's hit, Scandal. Well, Darby Stanchfield has been there since the beginning, playing Gladiator, turned White House chief of staff, turned Gladiator again, Abby Whelan. What are we going to do without this, without Abby? Well, we have two episodes left, um, and we're back to our original time slot, 10 p.m. Um, tonight and next week. And I don't know what we're going to do after that, but we have at least two more episodes left. And you're so. going to tell us everything that goes down. I'm going to tell you everything. Right now. Okay, um, let's begin with no. who dies. <laughs> Cyrus. Cyrus dies. Not the virus. Um, okay, one thing I can tell you about tonight's episode, probably the juiciest thing I can tell you, is that there is a cliffhanger at the end of the episode that really sets up the finale. Like, y when you see the cliffhanger, you're like, okay, this is what the finale is going to be about, or this is where they're going to go with it, and this is sort of how they're going to... Are so fans it's really going to be juicy. satisfied? Because when a series so. ends, yeah. I don't yeah. think you can please everybody. Sure. But I feel like with this show, they're so fanatical. They're, they're going to yeah. be satisfied? They're going to be pleased? Yeah, well, Shonda Rhimes wrote the finale, mm -hmm. and she's brilliant. And um, it does... The, the way that the finale feels compared to other finales is you, I feel like you get a sense of sort of where these characters end or live mm -hmm. or sort of like what it's not so cliffhangery it's a little bit more it's not tied up with a bow there will be major discussions Ooh. about the end Ooh. so so is there a possibility for a spinoff, perhaps, coming out of this? I mean, I think Shonda's a smart person. Oh, yeah. She leaves herself open to all sorts of great possibilities. I mean, she is the woman who's written the year of yes, right? Yes. So, yeah, sure. Perhaps. But for you, Darby, how does it feel? Yeah. We were saying oh. you've been with us for seven years on yes. our show. Yes. And I'm like this just... For seven yes. years. It's surreal. I mean, it's really... It's been such a great ride. I've played Abby for 122 episodes. Like you introduced, I've been a gladiator, an investigator, <laughs> press secretary, chief of staff, now chief of staff of, you know, the gladiators again. And um, I mostly feel just grateful. I mean, I couldn't uh, have worked with a better group of people, cast, producers, writers, and crew for seven seasons. So, mm. um, you know, I feel like I got, like, just the best experience that one could have on a, on a hit show. What happened the last scene, the last day on set, when you guys wrapped? <gasps> we were there till like, 3.30 in the morning. And there's a great picture you might show a little bit later of, okay, there we yes. are, Carrie and I. Is she crying? I'm having this moment. Now, everybody on my Instagram thinks that we're crying there, that she's emotional. But this is what happened. Jeff Perry, who plays Cyrus, <laughs> he rapped earlier that day, and he and a bunch of other castmates went out to dinner that night. So he went home, he got his wife, Linda Lowy, who cast our show. Uh -huh. They go out to dinner, and then they come back hours later, and right there at that photo, it's like maybe midnight, he's still in his costume. <laughs> he's still in his Cyrus bean suit, and Carrie was like, Jeff, are you still in your costume? And yeah. he was loose and taking photos and just having a great time, and so... That photo, we were actually having a good giggle about that. Like, were there tears, though? Yeah. Yeah, there yeah. were. Sure. Yeah. It was, um, <laughs> there was sort of a lot of tears, I'd say, over the last couple of episodes. Mm -hmm. the, the episode that's airing tonight, we had a table read for the whole crew and cast. Uh, but for the crew, we invited, like, our whole company to watch. And um, Shonda got really emotional oh. at the end. Oh. And some other people, I, just the girls, like the four uh, women who were on the show, like we went up and we gave Shonda a group hug, which I think started oh. some other people. But that really oh. like sort when of... When the lead banana hit, I know. gets emotional. I know. Amazing. Oh, what are you going to... Do you take anything? Because I think Carrie said she took some Prada bags when she would hide her baby bump. I'm, I'm trying to think of what you would steal. I'm going to go to her house and steal one of her Prada bags. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next on my... No, I'm trying um, to think what Red would we, take. Guillermo yeah. said he left scripts on the set everywhere. Sure. So. There's this beautiful Stella McCartney. It's a floral. Abby wears sort of a lot of florals and patterns um, when she's back at mm -hmm. QPA. And it's the Stella McCartney overcoat that I wear in the finale and... Um, 
I took that as nice. a memento. Yeah, there you it's go. It's beautiful. Now when we see you out and that, we're like, okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah I see you, Abby. Yeah. 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 And, and I mean, you've already, you're moving on. You're doing an independent film already. I am. I'm doing a film called Justine. It's a female writer, director, and really great cast. And it's um, very timely. It deals with racism and and kids with disabilities. And so there's all of these really great uh, current uh, timely like topics that it brings up. It's very intelligent. So you haven't settled yet. yet now. You haven't like you went right back to work, which is probably right a back good to work. thing. Literally yeah. a week later. So I think I'm still processing. I think it's really gonna hit me come July when we go back. You know, mm -hmm. when I'll be back for season eight, I'll be like, okay, where are we? Where is everybody? Where's the script? Yeah. Yeah. Do you worry? Because I know a lot of actors when they think about, okay, what am I gonna do next? Yeah. That that's in the back of their mind always, especially when you've been on a show for seven years. I think um, I'm not so much. I I I really. It's very new for me yeah. to be in this place, but I I need a rest for one thing. So I'm looking forward to that. But I don't. I, I'm not really worried about it. That's part of the fun about mm -hmm. this job is like this sort of nomad, uh, nomadic lifestyle. Like you 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 know. Part of the reason I wanted to be an actor was to play different roles. So I'm really looking forward to telling new stories and living in new places and mm -hmm. you know I can't wait to yeah. see what you're saying. Yes.